Sensation Farmhouse serves everything buffet style. And at all buffets, it's challenging to keep everything hot, fresh, and at the peak of flavor. Owner Johnny Copeland naturally gives the credit to his great help. My workers, that's my, that's my backbone, my support. And uh, that's what makes that buffet so good. I got pretty good cooks. Well, I got good cooks. No pretty good cooks, no. I got good cooks. And I got good help. And uh, that's what made that buffet so tough. When he says so tough, he means so delicious, of course. But providing a guided tour of this buffet is tough in the sense of being a little difficult. I can only figure one approach to this whole deal, and that's to do it by courses. And here begins the trailhead for the bone-in chicken portion. We have fried chicken, both white and dark meat, and we have baked chicken. But let's start with the fried. Okay, I heard it again. Some lady checking out saying that's the best fried chicken I've ever had. I just don't know what to do with that. Except to put it down and get a leg, which is a dark meat, which is my favorite anyway, usually. Oh my word, mm. So I'm gonna save this wonderful looking baked chicken to sample later, but let's go over to the boneless chicken and pastry category. Now I'm not calling this bread, it's pastry because it's damp in chicken stock, that's why. So it's just, Pastry. I've written whole chapters, whole stories, whole series about chicken and pastry. I've never yet experienced the art rising to this level. And this, friends, is the bread course. They're either golden brown handballs or they are globes of wonderfulness known as hush puppies. And here's the glorious pork plate, big, long pork ribs. We have two kinds of sausages down here left from the breakfast bar, very intentionally, and bacon. And of course, that always goes best with a bite of bacon alongside. Don't send me letters, don't do it. Here's the beef plate, wonderful stew beef with gravy over rice and meatloaf. Stew beef, meatloaf, which to start with? I don't know. Okay, so here we have a veggie, bean, or legume, and starch combination. You can decide which is which, and you can see what's on these plates as well as I can describe it. Those are collard greens, not turnip greens. And the corn's kind of hiding down here in the front next to this absolutely glorious mac and cheese. I just honestly have never tasted better food in this sort of soul food, country cooking genre. I should mention that I visited for Sunday brunch. Like you really needed any dessert, but banana pudding is on the buffet today. Now look, two of the mainstays aren't even on the menu today. Chitterlins or chitlins, which they only have on Thursday, and pig's feet but you're probably not gonna drive 300 miles for those anyway, but I'm telling you, they're fantastic, especially the boiled chitlins. Sensation Farmhouse Restaurant is at 5631 North Carolina Highway 41 in Wallace, and they're open every day from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. For more information, give them a call at 910-285 1471 or go online to sensationfarmhouse.com.